Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Say the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to play a game from, um, well, that was provided to us by uh, East Asia Soft. <clears throat> and it is Senses uh, something or other. Whatever it loads. Let's put the controller down for a moment. Ah, and drink some water. Hydration. Senses Midnight. Okay, let's take a look at these. Blar blar. Wait. Modern? I guess that'll work. I hear some kind of music in the background. But it sounds like it has, like, words. So I don't want whatever that is. Uh, I don't... I haven't played this, so I don't have a new game plus option available. Whatever. Oh, let's do this. Okay. No. Okay, let's do this. Start. Okay. Movement, interact, blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can get back to that screen if I need to figure out what the buttons do, right? I'm just a little concerned about that music in the background having vocals. Because usually when there's vocals, you get that wonderful thing where people are like, ah, la, 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 copyright, 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 blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh no. Ugh. It's like the worst thing when it happens. Oh, wait. <coughs> hmm. I don't think that would make sense. I've always thought when people are like, well, if you don't believe in ghosts, I'm like, you don't need to believe in the devil if the devil believes in you. And that's funny, too. If people sit there and be like, people will argue the existence of the devil, but then pretend the existence of God is something else. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay, so. The main character. Some kind of asset swap? Wah, wah. Or one of those one things where it's like somebody made this and was like, oh, should we? Wait, wait. Oh. Wait, what? Huh. Is this person streaming this? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is a Resident Evil style game. This is like Resident Evil 1, 2, 3 style. Before you got four, which was like more three D ish. Oh, would this be better with tank controls? No, I, I doubt that. <laughs> okay, this is what I. Oh. Oh no, does this have resource management? Put the coin in there. Okay. I 
Now, this looks pretty good, actually. Like, in terms of, um... Like... Switch games. Like, um, yeah, this looks pretty decent. Look at the light. I'm sure this doesn't have a budget. Into here. Oh my gosh. The um, the how it quick like um, the way that it changes perspective actually kind of makes it a little bit tougher to control. Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool. What the heck was that? The bugs. <laughs> this is pretty decent. Cosplay? Really? Oh, we don't have anything else. No, we don't have any photos either. So this is trying to be a... Uh... Okay, so this is trying to be Fatal Frame. In a way. Creature go. Obviously. that that didn't really change anything in our inventory. It's kind of funny how everything just snapped into view. <sighs> to be honest, I don't really have much to say about this game. So far. I do think this looks pretty nice though. This looks pretty nice. That's a pretty good art style. And we're gonna go show, take uh... Oh wait, wait, what is that? Hmm. Some neon. Well, yeah, let's go into this um... Let's go into here. I'm sure we're gonna run into ghosts. <clears> hmm. <throat> 
One would hope, right? You'd think that like a uh, playground at night would be like <clears throat> essentially pretty, pretty cursed. You know, it'd be funny if someone made a um. A, a um, realistic ghost hunting um, game, right? And the basic idea is you follow up different leads and um, most of the time when you go to places, nothing happens. You're sitting there going through the whole thing, setting up little things, looking for for like disturbances or, or drops in temperature, etc setting up cameras and things and then nothing happens I do like those giant centipedes though it's just right there you my friend hey giant centipede beautiful poisonous SOB Wait, 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 let's get in there further on that. Actually, you don't want you don't want Skullapendra in your house. I mean, I mean, not, don't want Skullapendra out there. You want Skullapendra to be in your house. <clears throat> it's true. Skullapendra wants to live with you. Wants to live with you. I don't know what the main character's name is. I just kind of jumped in here just to see how it is. So here's something people should probably know about most of these games. A lot of times I'm jumping into a game like this with no prior information as to what the game is or like what it kind of plays like. Just kind of like, oh, I see a screen charge here. Like, that sounds neat. Sometimes if I'm concerned... I'll pre-screen a game just in case because sometimes you have to be a little careful content wise it's a homeless encampment hmm if I can nope I can't wow <clears throat> I like these angles where you can't see anything around you <clears throat> walking into invisible walls <laughs> I eventually we'll get to where we need to go. being a little unfair I'll be honest I'm sure this game um, I mean these angles though I would much prefer it if it had like a behind the view camera but yeah I see what they're going for <laughs> okay now we just see some hunting It's the ghost of future back problems. It's right behind you. Meh.
Wait. I saw that rec recent Makoto Shinkai film. I know what this is. And I'm going to walk into it continuously. Do we open it? Exit. What exit? Does track with the legend. Characters an otter. Actually, now I think about it, I would love to play a horror game as a cute, cuddly animal, like otter mode. And get out there, horrifying things happen, like you're being chased by horrifying-looking creatures, but then they can't hurt you because you are adorable. And they're like, oh. But the thing is, you have to be very careful. Oh yeah, yeah. You could, you could, you could be like an adorable thing, but you have to make sure that you continue being adorable. And there's so many things around that can hurt you by accident, or or cause you to look less adorable. And so you have to avoid the things that cause you to look less adorable. Or when you're confronted with hideous creatures, you have to figure out the best way to look adorable to them. So you kind of have to. Figure that out. Be an adorable otter. Use your otter skills. Find the exit first. What do you mean find the exit first? That's stupid. Meh. Wait. Yeah, there are cricket noises coming from it. I appreciate that, thank you. Hmm. Well, let's keep going. Oh my god. Anyway, okay, so that so that one's my no. Wait. Oh, sprint is X. Okay. Ah! I'm stupid. Okay. But now that we know how to sprint, let's do the right thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't need to. I don't want to go through this again. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I wish I had some type of thing that would have prevented me from doing that. But now that I know which button is the sprint button, well, let's start doing some running. Yeah. Oh my god. This so far is pretty slow. It didn't help that I accidentally reset everything. <laughs> ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! Now we are stuck. Okay. Okay, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, I don't need to know that. Okay, got the item. Oh, they mentioned that! Okay. Okay, so they mentioned the centipedes. Yeah, I know. Mm hmm, I know. Exit. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're not going to mess with that. Oh, dang it. Oh my gosh, this person runs stupid. I mean, oh god. Yeah, the problem is whenever it changes to a different point of view, it makes it, um, wait, yeah, maybe I should do the tank controls. Um, let's hit the controls. Okay. Options. Tank. And then we'll make sure that we don't use the other thing. Okay. Okay. Actually, this is a little bit better. Ah. Oh. Yeah, the tank controls actually work a bit better on this. Which I'm... Oh, I can use the D-pad. Okay, cool. So, you can play this kind of... You can play this similar to like a... Uh, a Re it's like a Resident Evil game. You can play it similar to it. Okay. Item get. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, I feel the tank controls are much, much better. In fact, I'm going to suggest that if you're one of those people that wants to try out this game, play it in tank controls. Or yeah it's very much a uh, 
it's very much a product of its influences. Oh. find out that that coin was a totem okay yes but yeah I'm using the d-pad to control the character Exit for that door? What? Well, what would it look like? That's a pretty cool angle, though. Are these items that I'm getting all like coins? Yeah. I wonder if this is the exit gate. It's now a completely different type of, type of game for Quentin Tarantino. Ah, run away! There are ghosts! Oh my gosh. This person has the worst run. It's like they took, they didn't take a physical education growing up. And they don't know how to run. Eh. Right. Okay, this is where we're going. I mean, I just took a picture of that. They could acknowledge that.
He's got like those dead TikTok eyes. I hear a crescendo of music. Center rest area? Oh, it says 4608. I probably had to put in a code. I don't get. Okay, so I see a thing here that says 4608. And that's probably it. Probably a code that I need, right? It makes sense that it'll be a code that I need. Ugh. Whatever. Mm hmm. Obviously. Hmm. Okay, so now we have to go back. Like, now we literally have to go back to that place where we were at. Oh wait, there's a, oh wait, I know where there's an ID card. It's right there at that homeless encampment thing. So we have to run right past the monster that we just accidentally let out. Right? Is that what we're doing? Okay. Yeah, the monster! Wait. Huh. Wait, where was the homeless encampment? 
It was over this way, right? Yeah. I think it was over this way. Yep. No? Yep. Pick up the... Where would I find, like, this ID card, though? That seems annoying. Wait a second. Hey, you're a spooky thing. Try and follow me. Let's go to the let's go toward the spooky thing. Yep. I feel like this is menacing enough. In fact, it feels kind of mid. Yeah. <sighs> Actually, I think it's probably because I'm confused as to where to go. I mean, that's probably it, right? said oh find an ID card and I'm like okay and the thing is that there's really no I think this is one of those that could use a mini map yeah some kind of small map would be good oh look the umbrella is gone someone has taken it could it be a spoopy spoopy ghost Oh no, it is probably a majorly spoopy ghost. At least the um, backgrounds and stuff look nice. That that's literally it, isn't it? Forty sixty eight. Oh wait, is this one of those where? Ah. Uh, okay, so I guess I don't know the information if I didn't see the information. That's so stupid. Oh, forty six oh eight. Oops. Ah, must be a little minor dyslexia. Ooh, the game was saved. Thank you. Ooh, spooky ghost.
Wow, this character doesn't run. Oh gosh. Yeah, my character doesn't run very fast. Wait. What? But my character doesn't run. Oh my gosh, how do I make my character run faster? This is that, this is the running. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. I think it's going to show up at some point as we're trying to get to the shrine on the hill. Look at the little things that try and, you know, item get. And up we go. Going to the shrine on the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. So now what? Anyways, I guess we stay here for a bit. Anyways, this is uh, Senses Midnight. And it is put out by East Asia Soft. It was revived by the company that made it. And I uh, played it for a bit. If it looks like something you'd be interested in playing through, let me know in the comments below. And until next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.